Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. If you're shorting Tesla stock because you've heard some of the genius bear theses around Tesla stock, EV credits, the fact they can't make money, the fact that they're going bankrupt, etc., it might be time to reconsider your investment thesis. This morning we've heard some breaking news out of Europe that Honda, a Tesla competitor, is going to join the party in paying Tesla to put them out of business. So, Let's get into the video, but first, just full disclosure, I wanted to let you guys know I bought more Tesla stock this morning, spending still every spare cent that I have on the stock. Now again, this is not investment advice, I have a long term hold period, just sharing with you guys what I'm doing with my own money. That's the entire point of this channel, to share my story of how I am and have solved the money problem. So let's get into the video. But first, don't forget if you'd like three free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble, sign up, open a new account, deposit $100, you'll get three free stocks. Two of them value between $8 and $1,600 each. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. Honda joins Fiat in tapping Tesla for Europe emissions compliance. Honda has joined Fiat Chrysler in pulling its fleet with Tesla to comply with Europe's tougher emission standards for passenger cars this year. Honda was newly added as of last week to a European Commission filing in which manufacturers declare their intent to join together in meeting greenhouse gas emission standards. Fiat Chrysler had already reached an agreement to pull its fleet with Teslas. European Union rules that took effect this year force manufacturers to reduce the average emissions of the fleet of cars they sell in the region to 95 grams of CO2 per kilometre, or face hefty fines. As a result, companies have been introducing new plug-in hybrid and fully electric models, and those that are at risk of falling short of compliance have paired up with peers who are better positioned. Last week, Volvo Cars announced it will overachieve in meeting the regulations and allow Ford to pull with its fleet for an undisclosed sum. Fiat Chrysler Chief Executive Officer Mike Manley told analysts last week that the company was locked into an agreement to pay Tesla through next year for its help meeting emissions standards. For those of you who don't know, the agreement between Tesla and Fiat Chrysler is for over 2 billion US dollars over about a two year period. Yeah, that's right. Fiat Chrysler has paid Tesla and is paying Tesla enough money to build a gigafactory or two just to avoid enormous fines because Fiat Chrysler hasn't built enough low emission slash zero emission vehicles. The irony of automotive manufacturers who are attempting to compete with Tesla being forced to pay Tesla to build factories that will ultimately put these companies out of business is just unbelievable. It's easier and cheaper for these companies to pay a competitor billions of dollars than to pay the enormous fines they face for not getting their shit together, not ramping up their low emission vehicle production, and not transitioning their products to low emission slash no emission vehicles. Now I don't want to gloss over the importance of this, so let's just ask a few questions here. Imagine that you're a company who views themselves as a competitor to Tesla, as in you make products that have wheels and think they're equivalent to what Tesla's making. Newsflash, they're not. You're going to go out of business. Tesla's leads aren't assailable, but that's for another video. All other things being equal, what do you think a company trying to compete with Tesla would prefer? To give Tesla hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, or to just build the products it needs to build to avoid having to do that. Based on the fact that these companies aren't in fact just building the low emission slash zero emission vehicles they need to to avoid pooling and all these enormous fines, we can perhaps infer that there's a reason for this. These companies, aware of these enormous fines in the future, were either unable and or unwilling to take the necessary steps to avoid the fines. This indicates to me that either they're desperately clinging onto their profitable internal combustion engine vehicles and trying to squeeze a few more years of profitability before they just literally go out of business because they did nothing to move towards electrification, or it's in the too hard basket, or they simply do not have the capability to deliver a sufficient product that anyone's actually going to purchase. So let's whip out the calculator and do some rough numbers to try to ascertain a ballpark figure for how much money Honda is going to be giving to Tesla to put them out of business. So here we are on car sales base, just looking at Fiat Chrysler sales in Europe per year. Annual vehicle sales in 2017, 18, 19, let's just call it around 1 million vehicles per year, just approximately. And we know with sales of around 1 million vehicles per year, 
Fiat Chrysler is paying Tesla over $2 billion in cash. The Fiat Chrysler deal spans for around two years. So the math's pretty simple here. 1 million vehicles sold equals about $1 billion paid to Tesla. That's basically $1,000 per vehicle sold in Europe. So let's do the math now for Honda. Here we are again on car sales base, this time looking at Honda's annual sales in Europe. Let's see, what are we looking at here? Let's just be a little conservative and call it 100,000 vehicles per year. Even with such simple numbers, let's just make doubly sure by using a calculator. $1,000 per vehicle times 100,000 vehicles equals $100 million of pure profit headed towards Tesla, approximately just from Honda, just in Europe. I'm willing to bet this won't be the last time we hear of an automaker pooling to avoid enormous fines taking advantage of Tesla's waste product because again, they don't need the credits because the only vehicles they make are zero emissions. So let's take this one step further. Now I'm just going to use some very rough ballpark numbers that I have pulled from my rear end. Don't get your panties in a twist, use whatever numbers you're comfortable with. I'm just trying to illustrate a point. And since it's 4.20 p.m., I'm gonna use some very simple numbers. Easy math. Next year, Tesla will produce approximately one million vehicles. Now, if your jaw's currently on the floor, I don't blame you, but I'll still be here. So will the video, so set a reminder for 14 or so months. Now, that being said, let's just say that of those one million approximate vehicles that Tesla produces, half of those they're able to use to sell these regulatory credits to pull with other automakers to help them to avoid these enormous fines. So let's do the numbers again. A thousand per vehicle times half a million vehicles, half a billion dollars. And of course, if Tesla was able to take advantage of all one million, we can double that. One billion dollars of basically pure profit for doing nothing other than making the vehicles they were already going to make. Whichever way you look at it, that is a shitload of money. And remember, these credits, this ability to conjure up cash out of thin air is a byproduct of Tesla doing what it was already going to do. They're not making vehicles to get credits. They're making vehicles because they're making vehicles. It just so happens that other automakers who should have been taking action to get their own EV platforms up and running to avoid these enormous fines either aren't capable or haven't got their shit together, which means they're forced to pay Tesla to put them further and further behind ultimately into obsolescence and then bankruptcy. The situation is so absurd, it's just incredible. I mean, where else do you see this? Of course, there's many Tesla bears and Tesla short sellers out there who claim that Tesla can't make a profit without regulatory credits, failing to look beneath the surface and ascertain what Tesla's actually doing with their capital, how they're managing their growth, the fact that they're aware of these credits and they know that they can utilize some of that capital when they have a new agreement, they know how much capital is coming in, right? We may not know the exact figures, but Tesla does. They can then deploy that capital to expanding and further accelerating their mission. They're in an insane feedback loop at this point in time. Certainly, the credits won't last forever, but for at least the next few years, there's gonna be a number of automakers who are scrambling to try and avoid these fines and have no other option but to come to somebody like Tesla and beg on their hands and knees to get access to some of their vehicles to pull with their fleet to avoid putting themselves out of business by paying enormous fines because they weren't quick enough to transition to EVs. Just another of the many reasons why I continue to put every spare cent into Tesla stock. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. Don't forget, if you'd like three free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. Sign up, open a new account, deposit $100, you'll get three free stocks. Two of them value between $8 and $1,600 each. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with steak also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server, and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.